May we know if there is any marching order from the president as the new presidential spokesman? Only two things, no? Stick for what is right for the country and never lie. So do what is right and tell the truth. Two orders. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque is glib. He's been President Rodrigo's spokesperson since November 2017. He stepped down in October 2018 and returned in April 2020. Let's just say that perhaps their standard of what is uh, offensive and what is not offensive is more liberal in the South. He's now one of the faces of the country's fight against COVID-19. Aside from the medical response, there's also the messaging. More than ever, accurate, timely information is critical. Let's look at the times the spokesman contradicted statements of other key officials, and sometimes even his own. Ang original target po ay 3,000 by May 30. Pero nung Mayo 20 po, eh, nakaabot na po tayo sa 32,100 tests per day. Nalampasan po natin ang ating target. Today is the last day na pala. Ano bang sinasabi ko? Wala na po. Panalo na tayo. We beat the UP prediction po. We beat it. So congratulations, Philippines. circumspect in the opening of the economy. Uh, dandahan lang, because if we open the entire Philippines and uh, thousands upon thousands of new cases would happen, then we are in deep shit. Talagang mahirapan tayo. Actually, uh, nasa second wave tayo. Uh, yung first wave natin, nag-umpisa, batay po ito sa mga atin, mga Batikan epidemiologists, uh, na ang first wave natin happened sometime in uh, January, uh, nung nagkaroon po tayong tatlong kaso ng mga uh, Chinese nationals from Wuhan. Yun po ay kinikilalang first wave. Maliit lang na wave. Kaya. Pero ngayon, nasa second wave tayo, at uh, uh, ginagawa po natin ng uh, lahat para nga ma-flatten ma yung epidemic curve. Tayo po ngayon ay nasa first wave. E alam nyo po, ang medisina para ring mga abogado yan. Iisa lang ang batas namin, iba-ibang interpretasyon. Ganyan din po siguro sa medisina. No? Iisa ang siyensya, iisa ang datos, iba ang basa. May bago ng international meaning ang invasion. It can mean the entry of a disease. There is an actual invasion of the coronavirus disease, which is pandemic. It threatens, in fact, the entire country. Yung lahat ng mga kababayan natin. So may actual na invasion. And public safety is endangered. And yun nga, hindi ba sinasabi ng Constitution? Rebellion or invasion when public safety requires. Well, lalagay ko lang po sa proper context. Ang sabi ng Presidente, hindi siya mag-aatubili, magdeklara ng martial law, sangayon po dun sa basihan na nakasaad sa ating saligim batas. At yan po ay rebelyon ng NPA. Lalong-lalo na kung patuloy nilang aatakihin na ating sundalo para nakawin yung mga ayuda na nakalaan sa ating mga kababayan. So I think that is the um, presidential proclamation on this issue. Ibig sabihin po, magkaiba po sila ng posisyon ni Secretary Panelo. 
I think that is the personal view of um, Secretary Panelo. There is a memo which designates the office of the um, presidential spokesperson as the only authorized office to speak on behalf of the president and on behalf of the executive branch of government. Um, we cannot, of course, deprive Secretary Panella of his uh, freedom of speech. that uh, yung the most critical areas right now are the workplace. Yung pinatawag nating mga techno, eh, pinatawag nating mga, ano, yung mga economic hubs, at the same time yung pinatawag nating mga industries. Tapon, we saw that uh, there are great uh, violations in terms of observing yung minimum health, health standards, in terms of yung pinatawag na nag sila ng hunting, uh, yung pinatawag na mga meron silang uh, uh, smoking areas that became uh, the source of contamination. There are also times Rocky contradicted what the president himself has said. Terrorism is uh, number one in our list. Actually, the number one threat to the country is the Abu Sayyaf. Hindi mga terorista of no value. Itong high value targets, ito yung mga komunista. Well, although he said number one po yan, siyempre number one pa rin COVID. Kasi halos lahat naman ang tensyon ng gobyerno ngayon, puro COVID. Pero in terms of mm -hmm. uh, defense and national security, ang pinakamalaking hadlang o uh, banta ay ang mga komunista. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng ating presidente dahil hindi naman po ma papapagkaila na talagang COVID pa rin ang uh, inaatupag ng uh, buong daigdig. Ngayon, kung wala kayo, I will try to buy as many as I can afford. Kung kaya ko, bigay namin yan sa inyo libre. But wear it. And uh, Mas ginagamitin mo siguro yan, dalawang beses, okay mo lang. O isprehan mo lang ng alcohol pagkatapos. Yung wala, ibabad mo ng gasolina o diesel. Putang, yun ang COVID na yan. Hindi uubra yan dyan. Totoo. Wala kayo, ibabad to disinfect yun. Maghanap mo ng gasolina. Babad mo lang yung kamay mo. Layo mo lang kayo, baka mag... Kayo naman, apat na taon sa presidente, parang hindi nyo pakilala sa presidente. Joke only, bakit naman tayo maguhugas ng gasolina? No? Totoo yung sinabi ko, alcohol. Pag walang alcohol available, hindi ka naman pwede, lalo na ano, mahirap. Pagpunta ka lang dyan sa gasoline station niya pagkatapos na pwede magpatulo. Ng, oh, oh, that's disinfectant. You go, ABS, ABN, you're a mouthpiece of me. Ang inyong franchise mag-end next year. If you are expecting na marinyo yan, I'm sorry. You're out. I will see to it that you're out. Uh, sinabihan na po niya ang kanyang mga aliado, neutral po siya dyan sa issue ng ABS-CBN. Kung dati-rate, alam nilang nagalit sa presidente, nakita naman ng lahat. Tinanggap na ng presidente yung patawad ng ABS-CBN. Ngayon namang ABS-CBN, binaboy ako. Pero sinabi ko, pag ako ang nanalo, bubuwagin bubuwag, ko ang olig, oligarchy ng Pilipinas. Ginawa ko yan. Then there are the instances when Roque counters himself. Ang 
So, I am an apor at ang pinuntahan ko po dahil nga po ako nagpunta doon dahil first time na MGCQ na sila. No? So, um, but even under GCQ, ang swimming naman po ay allowed because it is not a non-contact sport. At um, kung meron po ako nalabag sa social distancing, ang katabi ko naman po mga dolphins, no? hindi naman po tao. No? At para dun po sa mga na-offend ko, eh, paumanhin po no? dahil uh, tao lang po. Dahil mas mainting ang ating pagtetest, hindi po totoo na mas maraming kaso tayo kaysa sa Indonesia. Hindi lang nalalaman ng mga Indonesian kung sino-sino yung mga umiikot na meron na pong sakit. At least tayo po, alam natin kung sino na po sila. While it might be true that Indonesia isn't testing as much, what's your basis for saying the Philippines really does have less cases when our testing is also not yet as widespread as it should be? Hindi ko po alam uh, how to answer that. Basta ang malinaw lang po sa akin, ang uh, Indonesia po, with almost more or less the same cases as us, has one-third of the actual testing that we have uh, conducted on our people. No? So, um, yun po ang aking uh, uh, basis for saying na hindi naman talaga totoo at conclusive na mas marami na tayong kaso sa, um, dito sa Pilipinas compared to Indonesia. The president is for perpetual isolation because no one can come close to him. I think sa kami kuna sa inyo, then whenever we meet with him, there is a velvet rope, no, that um, um, keeps him at least six feet away from uh, everyone else, no. So no one can really come close to the president. presidential spokesman clarify things for the Filipino people? Critics say he exemplifies the mixed messages of this administration. Sabi nga ng isang nag-viral na post at alam ko naman, kilala nyo kung sino siya. Bawal lumabas, pero kapag nag-comply ka at inayos ninyo mag-obserba ng proper hygiene, mapapaflatin natin ang curve at yung bawal lumabas ay magiging pwede nang mabas.